सो हे एवरी वन वेलकम टू ट्यूटर अकेडमी सो माई नेम इज चिराग वैष्णव and in this the interview slash podcast series uh, today uh, we are having savitha with us, with us. so uh, this session is particularly the uh, one of the most session that i am uh, waiting for because i wanted to do this from a long time and it was going to uh, it was postponing actually right but i am glad that today i am here with savitha and with a lot of questions to ask i am definitely sure that this podcast will help you learn a lot so i request you to watch it till end and before uh, and uh, before asking all the questions i will uh, request you that if you want to connect with savita her linkedin profiles link will be in the description so go check it out so without further ado uh, let's start with the session so uh, hi how are you savita hi sirang i'm doing great how are you uh, i am amazing as well right so uh, let's directly uh, jump dive into the question right so that uh, that the main thing is right so it will be great if you can first introduce yourself and then i can get started with a lot of questions yeah sure uh, sure sure so hi guys my name is savita rangnathan i am currently working as a senior software engineer at freshworks so from college days uh, i am a 2019 graduate by the way from college days i was a very, very passionate back end engineer and uh, i'm very glad that i get into the domain uh, i as a back end engineer i got the chance to work in a back end uh, engineering and uh, here i am today uh, it's i have around 3 years experience okay so uh, how it all started means from which college you are and uh, how the things happened that how you started coding were you coding before college as well or it all only started after the college and how all the things went so it will be great if you can start with that okay okay chirang so i am a msc uh, graduate a five years integrated course so right after twice i joined college for a five years integrated course and i am from coimbatore institute of technology uh, it's a tier three college uh, uh, but it's uh, second most top college in my city and uh, from college days yes uh, we uh, as everyone have a dsa and algo courses uh, in their syllabus we also had and uh, yeah i was uh, i was uh, studying it for exams but uh, not for interviews actually when i was in college and uh, one day in my final uh, interview uh, like final year uh, uh, placement uh, training i got to know that uh, the the importance of uh, dsa alco so uh, before that i was just thinking uh, we would do some projects in some uh, latest technologies and we will get placed anyway so uh, but that is not the case um, when <laughs> i started attending interviews yeah and um, dsa and algo and uh, me it is like um, a very bad relationship you can say <laughs> initially <laughs> yeah so um i i was graduated in 2019 uh, and i also uh, started attending interview in uh, the starting of 2020 uh, it was an amazon interview and it was one year after my uh, graduation and uh, i i got a chance to get the interview there but uh, even though i was given one month of time to prepare uh, i couldn't uh, i couldn't grab the interview uh, really and i uh, really got repelled uh, further more from dsa algo like i just closed everything and i just decided like this is not for me and uh, i can never uh, learn it and uh, after uh, some years like some months in 2021 i i got the motivation from one of my friend uh, so she is my uh, classmate in the same college and she got selected in paper so i got motivated because of that uh, because she got uh, selected and i am her batchmate and why can't i crack it mm. so that's when i was searching for many um, uh, ed tech uh, organization uh, to get myself uh, mentored uh, in that so uh, i know that i i couldn't crack it on my own so i wanted some help 
so that's when i was started searching but um, i was very disappointed with the pricing of uh, top and skirt like it's like uh, 2.5 lakhs uh, for the course and uh, yes. i'm not very uh, happy with the pricing and i approached uh, manu agarwal uh, he is a mentor in tutorant and he is also working as a engineer in google so i approached him and uh, he told me he gave me gave me a couple of uh, academies like uh, it is not he only recommended tutorant and uh, um, i should join here only it's not like that uh, he uh, suggested two to three academies and academies and i find that uh, tutorant is one that i can afford and the mentors are also great like the mentors are uh, from amazon google microsoft uh, paypal everywhere so i i thought it would be a great uh, environment to get started with the sn and one that's how i joined tutorant exactly right so uh, how was your experience with that so till now we have discussed that uh, what were that after the graduation what were the problem you were facing and Uh, your relationship with dsa particularly right <laughs> it's really yeah. interesting so uh, how your relationship how you got in serious relationship with dsa <laughs> with the help okay. of tutor okay. academy yeah so uh, as i said earlier um, it was very very bad at the first and tutor academy uh, didn't doesn't provide only the uh, guideline for dsa algo uh, the best thing that happened uh, in tutorant academy is I, i got that mental block cleared like uh, it is the dsa and algo is not for me that mental block it got cleared and uh, they basically uh, not only teach us uh, dsa algo they uh, they closely mentor us and they uh, make sure that we are consistently programming so i think that's where uh, it's a uh, great in uh, tutorant academy so exactly yeah the mentors uh, when i joined they it the course is not like um, it is only for people who already know the basics of dsa algo it is not like that um, even though we don't know the abc of uh, dsa algo we can uh, still join the tutorant and uh, uh, the learning curve is uh, quite adaptable for everyone uh from beginners to intermediate i can say okay so uh what yes, we have discussed that so uh, how you cope up with that so how it means uh, because uh, when you said that you were not that in touch with ds right and yeah. uh, as if you want to that crack that companies that you are in right now you have to be good in that so how you like learned that what was your schedule and how you all prepared because a lot of students are facing that problem right so it yeah. will be great if you can share your experience at how you cope up with that and how you uh, fought fought over dsa particularly yeah yeah so the secret is uh, consistency i will say and uh, also the uh, right uh, uh, learning syllabus like the the type of problem you are solving the level of problem you are solving uh, anyone can start uh, coding in leet code or uh, hacker and from day one uh, but uh, when they couldn't solve the problem they lose the motivation that is what happened to me like i, I will always start like uh, take the a uh, book material resource or uh, i'll start with lead code uh, hacker rand but uh, um, i didn't get a clear uh, path uh, there uh, so uh, i'll start and after 2 to 3 days i lose my confidence and uh, that is off but in tutorant they have a uh, a right uh, learning path uh, so so that you won't you won't be exhausted and you won't lose confidence um you will be solving uh, easy problems first and then medium problems and then the hard problems so uh, it is designed in such a way that it made me uh, a consistent person in uh, uh, solving problems um i didn't lose my confidence and uh, that's the key i guess yeah. okay so uh, what what i personally feel about dsa is there are some standard things that you have to do and all the questions that company particularly ask are based on that so if you are once good yeah. in that so you can like crack 
the companies yeah right so uh, we have discussed a lot so now the next thing that i want to ask you is that how it all uh, began that when you started interviewing the companies or uh, how did you land up at the job where you currently are and what is the experience till now okay so i'll be very very honest here so uh, when i when i wanted to make a jump is like i i i wanted to uh, look for growth like uh, it is a early stage in my career and uh, uh, more the chances uh, i get uh, to work with new projects new technologies uh, more my uh, uh, knowledge would be uh, in the later part of my career so i was looking for that so that is why i started for a job change looking for job change and um, when i started uh, getting interviews uh, uh, since uh, everyone would be like in the in the initial phase whenever we face something new we would we will always have some stress so uh, i will uh, always get uh, you know the the first few interviews i i, I will always get rejected at some point i'll be break uh, and then i will contact uh, manu agarwal like uh, he he was my personal uh, mentor in futurin so um, uh, either he will contact me he will always ask for updates from me and either he will contact me or i will contact him and he always uh, advise like how to uh, uh, get back from that uh, set back mm. and uh, um i i'll get motivated from his stories like his personal stories how he was rejected in some companies and uh, i'll get motivated uh, due to that and uh, i'll go go ahead and crack uh, the next companies like initially i was not cracking it but after uh, some time uh, i cracked almost all the companies yeah. that yeah. is what i can that i get used thing. to that environment yeah exactly it means uh, because you have to first go through some uh, rounds uh, go through some companies you get okay uh, you get to know that how this all works and after yeah. that yeah. you can yeah you can learn yeah, from the really process yeah uh, mm, so knowing about how the uh, how the actual interview process works uh, i think if we have a mentor uh it would be better uh, in those situations hmm. so yeah that is where uh, i guess uh, nishant agarwal and uh, sorry nishant gupta and manu agarwal helped me hmm. a lot uh, in you know you have to figure out uh, how things are going and you have to know what is normal uh, so getting rejected is uh, normal uh, and uh, we we we'll get uh, used to that environment only after we we face such situation two two or three times yeah exactly so. as you said you need a mentor for every arjuna you yeah. need a krishna so <laughs> yeah yeah sure yeah exactly so uh, yes. you you have learned from your own journey you uh, starting from that uh, you were not that good with dsa then you joined tutored then you learned it then you uh, failed in some interviews but after but exact i said that yeah. uh, failure is just a step or key to success right yeah so, the only mistake i did was uh, i didn't completed the course completely i started uh, jumping into interviews so i was not uh, prepared in some of the topics and <laughs> uh, that is how i failed exactly but you learn from that then you read that then you worked on that and finally you yeah cracked all of the companies as you are saying right so uh, yeah. how, how you basically uh, got to that companies means uh, 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 through the off campus obviously yes right so off yeah. campus hiring yeah, and actually, referrals I'm a, yeah uh, so uh, i am a two years experience candidate so Oh, i uh, i gave my uh, resume uh, in futurent and i was also searching uh, individually in uh, uh, linkedin in nokri uh, in insta hire uh, there are various platforms for uh, job uh, search so i applied there also and i was uh, 
i was basically getting opportunities in uh, whichever possible way i could exactly. so uh, that i yeah that's how i uh, got a lot of offers like what you have to do is you have to uh, expand your network in linkedin and um, you have to start approaching people there are people out there uh, who wants to help us like uh, they will be working in some organization and they are willing to refer us so you have to approach them and uh, you have to send your resume and uh, tutor and also help me in um, uh, resume uh, building so uh, that is also one of the key uh, point exactly say. exactly so and um, that is... my resume got uh, got caught in uh, hr people guys and i got the opportunities yeah exactly because as you said that a lot of people are out there to help you and are willing to help you but if you yeah. don't uh, don't uh, see or don't deliver that passion from your side so uh, no one's going to help you obviously right so, yeah obviously obviously yes. yeah we should also have the right uh, skill set that is required and uh, dsa and i'll go and system design is non negotiable in that uh, if you want to be in software engineering field you want to be in a good company with uh, great people this is this is a deal breaker if you know it if you don't know dsa and i'll go it is a deal breaker i can say exactly exactly and that's why a lot of uh, students are working on that only right so uh, yeah. how was your development journey you obviously you have had some good projects as you said that uh, at that particularly interview round you what you were thinking is we have uh, if we have some good projects it will be good to go but then you worked on dsnl go but yeah. previously you were having some development projects yeah actually that was from uh, in my college days um, so i had some pretty good projects that i worked uh, from i uh, worked in technologies like uh, mongodb um, and java uh, under a great uh, teacher she she is my mentor and uh, yeah so i i was a beginner in dsa and algo at that stage uh, but i was strong in technologies uh but uh, what happened is uh, the first two rounds will be dsa and i'll go exactly. no one will ask for your project. project so yeah so that's how i missed some companies uh, in my college days and in college days also yeah i started preparing dsa and i'll go and somehow i cracked a uh, caratlin interview and uh, get into it and uh, in caratlin since it is a e-commerce uh, domain that is a very uh, growing domain that i can say hmm. and i i also got to work with the the like, latest technologies node js uh, ruby on rails uh, so i can say i'm i'm very blessed uh, to get the right opportunity at the right time in the right domain exactly so uh, that is also a key factor so uh, Uh, if us uh, if people are having uh, multiple offers they can always look out for uh, which in which domain is booming and uh, uh, they can choose the, they can choose uh, uh, companies in such a manner uh, it would be very very uh, helpful in uh, the future uh, in the career path exactly. i can say exactly. so domain is also very important exactly so uh, we have discussed a lot of things from where you started to where you have been what are the mistakes that you have taken what you are do- doing currently and all the things we have dis- uh, discussed so the last thing that i want to ask is advice from your side to all the students or all the audience that are present here because we are having a large amount of a- audience comparing uh, they are freshers they are intermediate or they are professionals as well right so from all the mistakes yeah. you have made you have learned right so Yeah. what what are the things that you uh, want to uh, deliver or you want to address to that audience uh, what are your golden words for that okay <laughs> mm, i could say my golden word would be get a mentor uh, as soon as possible uh, wherever you are in your life so you should always have uh, uh, people who are uh, 10 year or 5 years ahead of you uh, in your domain uh, so that you can get to know what is uh, really happening uh, in your domain and uh, you can fast track your career exactly so that would be one uh, advice that i would say get a mentor anyhow like you can be a college student or uh, you will be a prof- uh, professional 
uh, with any number of years experience but uh, always have a mentor exactly and that would it... be a great uh, key to success i can say hmm as, and as you said and that... also yes 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 please uh, and also uh, consistency uh, i can say so uh, when i look back uh, the one thing that i lack is consistency and the one thing that uh, made me crack all the interviews is the same uh, consistency so i developed the massive consistency um, because mainly because of uh, the uh, class assignments the uh, weekly assignments that we get from tutors so uh, there will be always someone who who will be uh, supervising me if i didn't complete the assignments so i got the consistency from that i can say and exactly. consistency is also uh, one of the things the key exactly. factor uh, exactly. for success in the case of dsa also i personally believe that uh, it's not required to be that super mind or super super logic one because uh, there are some standard algorithms that you have to learn there are some algo- standard algorithm that you have to practice and if you're not consistent yeah. enough they will not come to you in the interview round yeah, or right round. so yeah uh, like it's... the that uh, the tricky part is that uh, you will not have all day to solve the problem you will just have 20 minutes hmm. for google interviews it is just 35 minutes you have to uh, write the optimal solution in just uh, 35 minutes uh, you have to explain all the edge cases you have to cover all the edge cases and i can say it won't come without uh, repeated uh, practice exactly in, um, dsa and algo exactly yeah. so uh, we have discussed a lot and uh, the those the golden words words that were consistency so it was really really beneficial so i will request all the audience to follow all the things that savita has particularly discussed with us today right so and i'm definitely sure that this all conversation that we have had uh, will be beneficial to all of them right so uh, thank you for this amazing wonderful and educative session and i wish you all the luck for all your future endeavors thank you thank you sharan thank you